My daughter's father is a deeply melanated man from Louisiana. From health care to child care to basic food, these agencies are not safe for him and continue to deny him benefits. One time he took our daughter to the ER and CPS ended up showing up at my door and wanted to look in my refrigerator because the white doctor assumed that he wasn't her dad and what is he doing with this baby? Uh, uh, one time, oh yeah, CPS was called. She came and looked in my refrigerator. And <coughs> CPS was called because he couldn't prove paternity at the time of check-in, is what they said. Who carries around proof of paternity with them? <laughs> and even though our daughter was covered by Medicaid, they still sent him a bill anyways. And after we provided her coverage, they still managed to garnish his wages, twice. We are still trying to figure that one out. All of that to say, as much help as he is, and he's great help, great dad, <clears throat> the system and agencies and policies are set up to exclude him. And for the families like ours that co-parent, there is always a worry that I'm reporting incorrectly, or I'm making too much, or something's gonna get cut off when we're really starting to get in the stride of things. Or that one of us can actually be the parent on paper, so usually it's me. <clears throat> I apply for the services and I make the contact and we both worry about we're doing something wrong, but we manage. Now I'm so grateful to say that a spot did open up on Tuesday, October 11th. My daughter started at the Champions After School Care Program and it's fantastic that I get to go back to work my normal 40 hours and it's wonderful when I get to clock out, I have a short amount of time to decompress, run errands before I turn back into mommy because this, wait, but this isn't, over for me. I want more. I have bigger dreams, higher goals. I'm headed back to school in January for auto mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> will start at 7 a.m. Um, those hours are before her school, before I could drop her off at school, and so far I have not been able to find a before school program. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know as long as I put it in the universe and keep moving forward, we can that happen. Yeah. Um, all I can do is stand up and speak out. And it's such an honor and a privilege to be able to use my voice because a lot of people where I'm from and where I live don't have the luxury to stand up and speak out because they can't afford to take the time off work, can't find the words to say, or are too nervous and shy that they won't speak up. I'm using the, my privileges to other people's advantages to make our families, to make sure that our families is, are seen and heard and the needs of the most vulnerable are not overlooked. I found my voice and I'm using it. As a parent ambassador this year, I'm learning all that I can about the systems, policies, and how we can make change. Then I'll be an alumni pushing back on those systems and demanding that they value child care workers and ensure they change the inherent racism in their policies. A hundred years of white supremacy has convicted our country that childcare is a second class job. We know this isn't true. I'm ready to make sure everyone else knows too. It's my privilege and honor to speak up to those without a voice. I'm Sunny, a black and native woman from Lummi. My family has survived over 400 years of genocide. And I'm a woman who is breaking the cycle of addiction and poverty in the native way it is, in the native way we base our decisions on the seven generation behind us. Mm -hmm. The babies that are not born yet and we haven't even met them. With all of that being said, we don't make decisions on how we feel or what's best for our family, but the kids that aren't here yet. Mother Earth is showing us that we need to make a change and come together, no matter our race, no matter our beliefs, no matter our religion. We're all one race, the human race. We owe it to our children and our earth. We owe them a future that they are given. They are, we owe them a future better than what we are giving the kids now. Needless to say, regardless of income, ge geograph geography, and the color of their skin, I'm sharing my story and I'm asking you to care enough to fight beside me because together we rise. Mm -hmm.